I think this is something that a lot of coaches struggle with because you you say to them, right, okay, go out to the go out to the pitch or the field to watch a game. But most of, most coaches don't know what to do once they're there. Do I stand with parents? Do I stand to the side? How do I get talking with parents? What's the conversation? How do I start the conversation with the parent? Yeah, so really good question because I, I used to struggle with that a lot. I, I remember just showing up. There, there, were, there was a time I showed up to the field. I got so nervous when I started walking around and I just walked back to my car and I drove home. <laughs> That's how nervous I was. So the first thing is, I think the most simple strategy is before you even get to the field, you should write down two or three questions that make sense. Two or three easy questions that you could start any conversation with, with, with a parent. Mm-hmm. Like a simple conversation starter is like, I could, I could walk up to any parent that's on a sideline, on the sideline, watching the game. And I could just like sit in my chair next to them, watch the game for two minutes, and then like look over and be like, hey, this is a really good game. What's the score? Boom. He's gonna tell me the score. I'd be like, oh great. Like, what what team is your son on? Cool. How long has he been playing soccer? Great. My name is Ben Neighbors. I, I own Neighbors Soccer Academy. Like, but like we're already into the conversation. Within five minutes, I can have him introduce me to the team manager that has access to 20 parents' emails and phone numbers. Mm-hmm. Right. So like something that simple, it doesn't need to be me going to a conversation with like, how do I get them to be a client? Mm-hmm. It's, no, it's like, I need to talk to them like a normal person. Cause like, if I am out of the field and I have someone who's next to me and they're trying to give me crap, I'm just going to be like, dude, like this guy's annoying. But if you, just, if you talk to people like a normal person, like pretty easy to, have conversations like that. And you, you can only do that sort of stuff just by practicing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so that's where like starting conversation is difficult if you are not prepared. 